I'd like to try to talk about something practical today. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm usually so unbound and, and flighty and just like high concepts, uh, which is appropriate. Like that's, this is important stuff. This is, we're talking about fundamentals here. Like how you work this stuff is entirely up to you. And it needs to be up to you because I can't give you my techniques and expect them to necessarily work for you. They might, but only you can figure out and decide the way in which you work the universe and the subconscious mind and you know whatever you want to call it, the laws of reality. But let's talk about negative self-talk for a moment because I, I, I pretty sure this is like a universal thing, right? <laughs> I think most people have a voice in the back of their head that's going like your shit or that didn't work out because you did this or, you know, we're always trying to justify. We need to understand that this voice, the ego, is just trying to make sense of things. So if you ask someone out and they reject you, it starts coming up with stories, right? Because you don't know for certain necessarily why things have transpired. Like even if they tell you, <laughs> you know, like, oh, you know, I'm not, uh, I like taller guys, for example, you know? Okay. Well, there's, there's your answer, but why aren't you taller? Why does she have that preference? Why is life not fair? Right? It starts making shit up starts weaving a story to make sense, sense of things so that you can sleep at night or not, as the case may be. <laughs> See how strong that voice is? I think we can all relate to this. It's, very, it's, 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 it's a powerful voice, it's, it's automatic, right? But I'm here to tell you that, that we can flip the script. We can make a voice that tells us positive things instead. And you may have come across the, the idea of, of, what do people call it? Like being delusional or like the, the I think people are calling it the unhinged technique. <laughs> yeah, like that's what it feels like at first. But once you practice that, and man, I cannot stress enough how important practice is, but once you practice the unhinged technique, it stops feeling unhinged. Right? And you get to a point where you realize, oh shit, that shitty little negative voice that's always trying to justify why nothing works out for me, he hasn't said anything in a little while. You know, he gets replaced with the voice telling you, oh yeah, she is interested in me. Or money's easy to come by. I don't have to work hard. And then seeing things start to snowball, right? Momentum is very important. And this is another tip. I'd encourage you to, to watch out for this. Whenever something good happens, use it, right? If you're stuck, if you're not happy, if your life is miserable, every little good thing that happens is gold. Because you can take it and you can weave whatever the fuck meaning you want into it and you can grow it. So if you're in if you if you're in a slump and you're if you're in a rut and I don't know someone gives you a compliment out of nowhere beautiful now's your time to shine use it. Tell yourself that you receive that compliment because things are looking up because your life is turning around, because you're seeing yourself in a different light. And the thing is, you're right. Not only are you right because everything we decide to be true is true, but you're right because why do you think that happened in the first place? When you start to see yourself, you start to let go of the old story that like, you know, I'm ugly, no one's ever gonna love me, whatever. You may start to get compliments out of nowhere. And from people you didn't expect, but what I want you to, what I want you to remember is don't shoot it down. Don't be selective. 
If you get a compliment from someone you weren't expecting and maybe it's not the person that you were hoping to get a compliment for, don't destroy it. It's still gold. So, <laughs> there's look, with everything, everything is balanced and everything has two sides, right? Positive and negative. Yeah, sometimes you can, you can end up getting into this I don't know, this loop of, of always looking for signs and whatnot. And make no mistake, signs are out there. But try not to think of it as an external force giving you, giving you hints. It's you. It's always you. It can't be any other way. Even if something happens to someone else, it's still you. So you can manifest things for other people. But all you're doing is manifesting that reality for that aspect of yourself within your reality. <laughs> Does that make sense? So they're not guaranteed to necessarily see it, not in a physical sense, but they may, may not necessarily appreciate it, but you do. Here's an example, a few, um, a few weeks ago, by the time you will have seen this, I, I was talking to someone who, who was a little bit down about having missed out on an opportunity. And I'm like, dude, time is meaning. Well, it's just, this is someone who doesn't believe in this stuff, just to be clear. But, you know, I'm starting to, <laughs> my, my day to day language is starting to adopt this stuff because I don't care. I don't, I'm sick of holding back, right? Of biting my tongue. So I said, dude, time is meaningless. Everything exists in a single point. So just, just get the opportunity back. And he's like, oh, I guess I could go back in time. I'm like, well, <laughs> by the end of the day, he got the opportunity back. <laughs> you know, that's my reality. That's my reality showing me that, yeah, of course. It is how you say it is. So like that, you can manifest things for other people. Did he appreciate it? I don't know. Probably. There's your answer. <laughs> Definitely didn't. <laughs> but it was, it's my reality. It's your reality. Whatever shows up for you, even in other people, it's you. <sighs> Where are we? Motive, uh, momentum. Momentum is huge. You know, take it and, and run with it. So practice, we got we to gotta get that, that negative voice silenced and not by force, by allowing it. You know, we never want to fight. So start practicing flipping the script and you could do this consciously. What's an example I can give? Um, okay, so uh, let's say you're interested in someone and, um, and they're not, they're not paying attention to you, okay? The negative voice might tell you, oh, it's because they're not interested. Or they hate you. Oh my God. Why come, they probably don't hate you. <laughs> All right, let's be real. But here's how we could flip it in our favor. Maybe they really like you and they're shy. Maybe they're worried that you don't like them. Maybe they don't want to come across like they're coming on too strong, all right? Is any of this true? I don't know. When you say that they hate you, that they're not interested, is any of that true? You don't know. Let's be real, you don't know. Why are we so quick to accept the negative? We need to be that quick to accept the positive. And that's, that's like the crux of the unhinged method. I know it's talked a lot about, uh, like usually it's talked about in a way that's like a little more overt. And that's fine, you know, whatever works for you. But the reality of the situation is that whatever you say, whatever you accept, whatever you consent to be true is true. So, so especially in situations where you don't have that physical confirmation to tell it like it is, make it up, 
Make it up the way you, the way you want it to go, and it will. Now, in situations where the physical reality is telling you, is is confirming to you, you know, that they're not interested. That's when, like, I get it. That's when, like, the overt, no, you know, being delusional strategy, you know, it's kind of that kind of works for you, but. I don't know about you, like I'm, I'm far, far more interested in, let's say preventative medicine, <laughs> preventative or, or, or <sighs> you know, it like, you can't fail guys. This is what I'm saying. Like just go out there and live like you're the luckiest person in the world. Cause, cause you will be, cause you are, you already are. So if you're interested in someone, don't faff about and be all wishy-washy and like, oh, do they, don't they? Tell the universe that they do, because they do. They're into you, man. (laughs) And they will be, right? So look, I I, I can promise you this, because I know, I know, you may be struggling and it doesn't feel like you can, you can get over this, this hump, baby steps, right? So this is why I really like affirmations that, that kind of build you up incrementally. So instead of looking in the mirror and and saying, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. That can work for sure. It can, it, if it works for you, then it will work. Right? Everyone's different. Everyone's in a different uh, mental state. But if, if that's not working for you because it's difficult for you to believe that you are rich right now in the moment because you look at your bank account and you go, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> then construct it in, a, in an incremental way. So I'm getting wealthier every day, you know? I think that really works because you can't refute it. You can't prove that wrong. Because even if you make $1 more today than you did yesterday, you've, you've proven it right. And now you have momentum. Now you have that little bit of gold that you can focus on to block out, get rid of the negative voice. This is the new voice and you can build on it. All right. So like every day it's, you're telling yourself, I'm, I'm, I make more money every day. I'm, I'm richer every day. I'm wealthier every day. I'm more attractive every day, right? I'm getting stronger every day, whatever, whatever you want to, whatever you want. And eventually that's going to break through and plant the seed and you're going to, you're going to see it happen, right? And it might just be small. But the moment something happens, then you can run with it. And those are the exciting times. <laughs> All right, practice, practice guys, as always. Chip away at it and trust that you'll get there. Just like practicing anything, you know? You don't like practice a, an instrument. If you want to start playing guitar, you don't, you don't practice expecting to be a guitar hero in a week of course not same thing applies here it can happen but we have to get out of our own way that's the whole point i reiterate the techniques are not the law techniques only serve to get us out of our own way and we especially when we get stuck we are very firmly in our own way all right practice and let me know how it goes as always take what resonates and discard the rest.